So I was thinking of something that Rohan said the other day um, about all of our salmon pack cues and various different languages we support and kind of how some of the views are set up. Um, I was thinking a little bit about the tenants and uh, you know how they relate to our customer and, and really knowing our customer and respecting our customer. And I was kind of reminded of a project I worked on a, a year or so ago, um, kind of integrating with the Google Translate API. So I wanted to revisit this a bit for some four-hour time today uh, and, and share with the group. I think maybe a couple of you may have seen this in the past, um, but I wanted to put a little refresher out there and uh, you know expand upon it a little bit with our tenants. Um, so the Google Translate API is a paid API. Um, you can see here it's on uh, developer.googles.com. If we look at the pricing, though, it's, it's pretty cheap. Um, it's it's per character, um, so twenty megabyte or twenty dollars uh, per one million characters of text. Um, they have two real features: uh, a translation, which is just what you would expect it to be, um, but there's also a language detection API, and, and that's really what I want to be demoing today. Um, so I have a fresh dev org set up. Here you can see there's zero cases, uh, nothing in it. Uh, I'm just going to wire up an email here. Drag this over so you can see it. Um, hello world, this is a screencast of translation. So I'm just going to send that in. Um, you'll notice that was entirely in English. Uh, refresh here, hopefully it trickles through the interwebs. Um, here you can see it created a case. It auto-associated it to English. And with the Google Translate API, they actually assign a confidence interval. Um, so apparently my English isn't as great as it should be. Um, Google is only 62% sure um, that it was English, but it's definitely enough uh, to flag it as English and not some other language. Now to really highlight this and, and show you kind of where the benefits come in, I uh, pulled up just a Russian newspaper here. I'm just going to steal the headline from uh, one of today's news articles. And again, I'm going to send that in to the system. Um, you'll notice I'm only parsing the subject line at this point uh, because it is character based. Uh, not sure if we'd want to parse the entire uh, description, but I think you know the more text, the more confidence there is. Send that in. Uh, sure enough, it identifies it as Russian uh, and gives an 84% confidence. Uh, so apparently newspapers speak better than me. Uh, and then just one more demo. I have an Italian paper up here. See if I can't just copy, copy some text directly from there. Going to go ahead and send another email in. And if we refresh Salesforce here, we'll see Italian and again another 83% confidence. So pretty certain that it is those languages. So obviously um, there's a lot that could be done um, as far as triage, um, as far as trying to auto auto assign cases to the right team. Um, you know we are an international company and it, it surprises me um, that we don't have kind of more of this in place today. I know we have a lot of team specific email aliases but I can only imagine how, how confusing that is for a, a hotelier to have to remember, you know, assistance UK at Expedia.com or assistance FR at Expedia.com when, you know, maybe just assistance um, or help at Expedia.com and, and we could do the, the heavy lifting to try to get it to the right, the right team to make sure that, that someone local is able to uh, research that issue and, and get back to them. Um, so that's my demo today. Um, yeah, thanks.